Hey, good morning and welcome to one of the most spectacular trails in Washington State. This is the Chain Lakes Loop Trail and not only is it full of uh, wildflowers, shots of uh, Mount Baker and the surrounding peaks, but not one, not two, but six alpine lakes during the uh, six and a half mile loop. So thanks for coming along. Uh, here's some subalpine spirea. There's a whole meadow covered in white Sitka valerian flowers. And this is the Sitka Mountain Ash. Uh, here's the first alpine lake. This is Lower Bagley Lake. And here's the uh, wild bleeding heart flower. There's the, I think it's called the Austin Pass Visitor Center there. Now we have a great view of Table Mountain. Short steep trail to the top, but then once you're up there, it's pretty much completely flat to explore around. Ah, and here's our second lake, beautiful Upper Bagley Lake. Ah, there's a couple more hikers ahead of me there. Here's some flocks. Okay, pretty soon the trail is going to start switchbacking all the way up to that pass up there. And on the way up, we should get some magnificent views of Mount Shuksen. Now we can see quite a bit of Mount Shuksen. <laughs> There's our first marmot. Ah, uh, here's one of my favorite flowers, the neon pink monkey flower. There's the uh, winding road up to Artist Point, but the summer it's closed because of some winter damage. This is so beautiful up here. The uh, trailhead where we started today, Heather Meadows, was uh, made famous in 1937 when Cary Grant and Loretta Young starred in Call of the Wild. They actually filmed it there. And there used to be a really cool Mount Baker Lodge there at Heather Meadows. And then it burned down and was never rebuilt. <laughs> These funny looking things are the seed pots for the western pass flower. Some people call it mouse on a stick. Hey, hey, here we are at the top of the little pass. Okay, so looking a bit northeast here, there's beautiful Mount Ruth. And then way back, I think we're seeing part of the uh, picket range with Challenger and Formidable back there. And then here's mighty Mount Shuksen. And then below it, 
there is Huntoon Point, and then next to us here is Table Mountain. But then, looking way back there, we can actually see uh, Dome Mountain in the Glacier Peak Wilderness. <laughs> and now, looking south, we have our first great view of Mount Baker. Amazing, isn't it? Hey, here's our first view of uh, Skyline Ridge, I believe. Really nice trail across the top of that I did last year. I'm sure many of you have done it as well. A lot of blueberry bushes here if you happen to be hiking here later this year. And here's lake number four. This is Hayes Lake. Isn't that beautiful? People love to swim in it. A lot of lupin blooming on this part of the trail. Well, we're about to leave the uh, shores of Iceberg Lake. And here's the last, lakes five and six. That's Little Mazama Lake. And then here's the bigger Mazama Lake. Wow. <laughs> Here's a little better view of the two uh, Mazama lakes. Before these clouds get any worse, I want to show you uh, some peaks here. That is Sherman, sub-peak of Mount Baker. And then of course there's Mount Baker Summit, sub sub peak called Hadley Peak. And then back in this direction, there's Ptarmigan Ridge with the high point being Coleman Pinnacle. Check out these cool geometric shapes. When the uh, lava cools slowly, it often crystallizes into columns. I think they're either basalt columns or andesite columns. Really cool looking, aren't they? Now we get a good view of Church Mountain, looking, I think, due west. Hey, we made it to the second high point on the loop. We're at the junction with Tarmigan Ridge now. Here's a great view of Mount Chuxin Forest now. Wow! Look at the glaciers on that monster. <laughs> These guys are called partridge foot. This whole Hey, I think that's a glimpse of Baker Lake we're getting down there. How about that? And there's Glacier Peak way back there. Ah, uh, here's some fireweed, and next to it is the first grove of Indian paintbrush I've seen today. Ah, uh, now we can see some more peaks. That's Mount Larrabee, famous for some good producing mines in the gold rush days. And then that's American Border Peak. And way back there is Canada Border Peak with, you guessed it, the border between our countries in between them. Ha! <laughs> Pretty cool, huh? Hey, now we can see Tomahoy Peak. And this green in front of it is Yellow Aster Butte, one of the most popular hikes up here. Only about a third of a mile or so back to the truck. What an exciting day, man, oh man. <laughs> 